ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another manual graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial, we'll be learning something very simple, and it's basically to create an isometric angle with your camera. So, this is just an example of a scene I made very recently. I know it's lacking detail and bridge especially, but it's just some practice for me. Um, so we're just going to be learning how to achieve this angle effect that I've been using recently, such as another example would be my spring, that's an isometric angle. Another one would be the X-wing, again, on an isometric angle. So I've been getting into this uh, angle that it brings out some awesome effects. So I made this shot. I made this um, image recently and it's on my dribble. I'll leave a link in the description for you. Just go like it for me. Um, I know, as I said before, it lacks detail, but it's some good practice. So I'll just open up that scene in the blender and um, I did animate some of it as well. And the water and stuff. But let's not go there. So, let's set up our camera quickly. So I'm going to go Shift A, Camera. Now the first thing we're going to do is position it. So the location, uh, basic location I like is 12, minus 12 for the Y, and 12 on the Z. Now for the rotation, this is the bit that actually shows off our isometric angle. And I'm doing 54, 0, and 45. Now if I go O to view, we get this angle. And I'm just going to move ours slightly forward and like so. Now the next step to actually give it this um, angle, like the effect, because currently if I render that it would look nothing like that. So I'm going to have to go into my camera properties here and under lens we're going to hit orthographic. Now you can zoom in, or you can zoom out, like so. And I'm just going to zoom out like so. So that's basically how you achieve the isometric angle effect. You change your lens to orthographic and your rotation to 54, 0, 45. That's the key things, and then you can have these at around, around around about 12 values. So, just a quick tutorial so I don't leave my channel empty for too long. Um, next week we'll have some more interesting tutorials, like I'm planning on teaching you guys how to animate the water. Like so. Looks good. Like that. Applying the wave modifier. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I shall hope to catch you in another one quite soon. Um, thank you very much, and I shall catch you in my next tutorial.